control to Major Tom. Another day in the garage. Knees feeling pretty good this morning. It's a uh, disgusting Easter Sunday outside. So wife and I are going to get a quick workout in. She's going to do some type of crossfit circuit type action. And I'm going to chase a new three rep max on the squat. And uh, I think that's going to be excellent. So we'll get ready for that. Of course, by three rep max on the squat, I mean I'm gonna pedal for 40 minutes. That's a little cardio, a little conditioning. Uh, family stuff today is Easter. So, really stoked. Got it in. This is, you know, a lot of this is still with Ashley getting her to work out. You know, this is not her cup of tea training. But she's really enjoyed the time she has had at CrossFit so far. And so, she's had a busy last couple days and hasn't been able to get to the gym. So, I'm trying to enforce in her that we have the setup. You can do it here. We can put together a little workout. Something's better than nothing. So don't blow off a whole day just for that. More rehab, recovery exercises. And that's it, it'll be a normal day, just family stuff. Uh, bring my Mark Pro and uh, slam the knee as much as I can. Whew. Still reading uh, Wool. I don't know, probably 75, 100 pages in. Pretty good so far. Uh, I really didn't read any synopsis on it other than Ashley put it on my desk and said to read it, so I'm reading it. Alright, let's get it going. Probably not going to have you guys attend Easter with me just because I don't feel like filming. So, I hope you guys don't mind the way this is running, but some of these days are going to be a couple days combined just showing you what I'm doing rehab-wise. I'm not doing anything terribly exciting nor is there anything that comes up believe me if something pops in my head and something I need to do happens you guys will be shared with um, so I hope a couple of these days being combined together doesn't fucking it's whatever there's no real rules to this so hope you guys still enjoy the videos and um, I think we've got drift a lift of stuff coming soon like this week this weekend maybe tomorrow and I got some really cool stuff in from Dan Bradley with uh, the Iron Union. These are dope, really dope hats and some shirts. Check them out. Uh, I will put a link below. Uh, another really, really cool apparel line. I think Dan and I are going to do some work together in the future and do some designs for Hate Brand. Other than that, check out the new hats at Hate Brand Goods. I'll show you those. Got that patch hat. Ooh, ooh. The big black on black double pistols. My favorite. So good. And uh, the other one is just a script hat that we've been using black on black. You can never have too much black or color. Also, check out these. See these? I don't know how many of you guys are old enough for this. These are hyper color shirts. So it's not just tie dye watch. What? They change color based on heat. Just saying. A little limited on time this morning, so I'm gonna just run through some mobility stuff, and this afternoon I'll go ahead and hit my cardio and do my workout. More upper body stuff. So, I'm gonna do some rehab uh, on that, and then right now this morning, I'm just gonna do some mobility. So, join me for that, right? <laughs>
and there's mobility. So, some smashing, some stretching, everything feels better. All right, so today's rehab, pedal, of course, which is still good fun. He's feeling all right, kind of double sleeving it, just keeping some compression on it. Not a whole hell of a lot of fun. And we're gonna do some seated overhead stuff. Boom. So how does the knee feel? How are we doing? It is uh, six days post-surgery. Um, fucking hurts. It's not terrible. Uh, I was on it a lot today. Did not run the Mark Pro a lot. I've been on it a lot. So it's, it's really tired. Um, I really don't know how much I'll do this workout. I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna do my rehab and go from there. I uh, was on it a lot more today than I expected to be. And I had a full day tomorrow in the truck with meetings. So I'm gonna run the Mark Pro while driving just as much as possible and try to keep moving that way. It's just achy. And I mean, shit, there's still holes in my knee where the incisions are. So it's a week, it's a week out of six. But I mean, day to day are, are big changes. I mean, it's 5% or 10% better every day. I haven't had any pain medication in four days. I Me mean, other than like Tylenol. And uh, sleep's been okay. That's usually when it actually feels the worst. Last night was probably the best night of sleep I've had. Other than the one like right out of the hospital with all the drugs. That one's good. So, that's where I'm at. We'll go from there. I mean, do I think this is the fix for my knee? No. But if this can get me back to where I was pre-injuring at this run, I'll be good. If I can compete pain-free, I'll be good. <sighs> my, my knee's still fucked. I still need an ACL. I still have got a lot of other shit to repair. But we'll get through, get through all this. Synvic injection is going to really help with just managing how the joint feels. I think it's like a fat injection. helps with... It's like a hyaluronic acid injection into me. It's supposed to be great. Uh, PRP stuff, stem cells. I'm gonna give it all a go, I guess, depending on how much it all costs. But I still need another surgery. So we'll see what type of life this thing gives me. And if, you know, we take a couple games and it's not any better and it's not strong and I can't throw, let's get cut. Let's move on to the next one try to rebuild and get ready for next year but that's not the mindset I have it's just one of those things that shit happens in the bigger picture issues right it's in the fucking worst thing in the world so steady as she goes we'll stay strong keep making progress Home, long down the road today. Do some shoulder press, seated stuff. That's about it. And uh, can do what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with cardio on the bike, as usual. I really don't wanna do anymore, but gonna keep making progress. Also give you guys a look out at what the knee currently looks like. I'm one week out of surgery.
Time to shoulder press. So that's kind of, really there's not a lot of exciting stuff happening. Um, it, it's rehab, I'm home and I'm doing my daily grind of work. And I really do want to make each of these kind of their own story. And some days I'm in the truck for 11 hours and doing work stuff. And I don't share any work stuff. Uh, I like that these worlds are separate. Um, and not every day is gonna be a complete story. I guess I try to have a little bit of point and show just a little bit of what I'm doing every day as far as my training, my life, travel, and all those types of things. New Drift to Lift episode tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed both of these videos going up today. A little double time, am I right? And it's trying to stay positive through rehab and I know I get a lot of this type of thing and it's just keep making progress. Progress is really the big deal. Progress is just putting that one foot in front of another. Uh, you know, I think about this in kind of a really logical story. One of the guys we throw with, uh, Berger, uh, he's a South African dude, big dude, 6'7", over 320, did a ultra marathon, did this through the Namibian desert, 250 kilometer race. And one of the things he talked about was just as long as he could make another step, he would keep moving. I mean, the bottoms of his feet kind of fell off and some other stuff, but that's kind of how you've got to be. You've got to just be willing to take that next step and keep figuring out the next hurdle. If you look at the whole big picture of like, oh shit, I have six weeks of rehab. I'm only going to be able to do this. I'm only going to be able to do this. It's all these, these negatives that you just fucking have to not worry about because they don't change. They don't fucking matter anyway. Just do what you can do and stay in control of that. So right now, what am I focusing on? Uh, Leg-wise, I can't do a whole lot, but what I can do is butt stuff. Thanks uh, Keegan Dillon for helping with that. Uh, he's gonna be helping coach some of the training lab online group that we've got going. If you're interested, uh, comment below or send me an email. And the butt stuff is just making sure that I can keep glutes and low back strong. So one of the ways I'm doing this is using the hip circle and just trying to keep making those moves smart. I'm not gonna put any real abuse on the knee right now. I'm not trying to spin, I'm not trying to throw, I'm not doing any single leg support. I'm not squatting, but I can stand and I can run the Mark Pro and I can run the Compex and I can do some walking type stuff. I'm gonna start looking into maybe if I can do sled drag stuff in the next week. 
And so it, it's just that mentality that you've got to just, what's the most I can do today and try to do that. Keep making that forward progress every single day. So I hope that guys helps with you with your training. I know a lot of people have been commenting and saying the rehab stuff's motivating, they've been through injuries. And man, I appreciate that stuff drives me too. So thanks a lot. Thank you guys for all your comments and likes and shares. Keep spreading the hate. Always party. And uh, Drift to Lift it tomorrow? What? And so episode one that's gonna go up tomorrow, Drift to Lift it, is me hanging out at Barber Brigade, getting to know Bart Kwan, actually talking to, you know, meeting Bart and seeing what he's about and, you know, talking about being a YouTuber and running a gym and what got him that next step. And it's always hard work. So I hope you guys enjoy the episode tomorrow. It'll be up around 6 p.m. Uh, make sure you like, share, and subscribe that. Check that out. Check out the sponsors. Check out thehate.com. And, uh, I don't know. That's enough of that. Oh, check these out. We got these cool things in. So, regular blue shirt. <gasps> Boom. Color changing shirts. Next level stuff. So, uh, those will be a ways out, but keep your eyes peeled as well.